This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find the contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today. June 9, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, Earth's electromagnetic field is taking a walloping currently and has been since 9 UTC time or about 2 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S. You can see that many of the spikes go clear off the chart at over 1600 hertz. There's no real way to tell how high these spikes went. But when we do see our electromagnetic field spiking like this, we know the Schumann resonance is also reacting. Let's take a look. So this is our Schumann resonance. It's off the charts at over 105 hertz. Again, no telling how high these spikes are going. This has been happening since 9 UTC or right about 2 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S., and this is an ongoing event. Now, there is an agitator causing this, but what is causing the spikes to go so high? Well, I think we'll learn as we proceed. Taking a look at a six-day comparison, each strip being a single day cut up into six-hour periods, we see that we've been in this event over nine hours already and it doesn't look like it's letting up anytime soon these spikes are off the chart at 50 hertz we know that they went clear over 100 hertz and probably as high as 200 hertz the reason these charts end at 50 hertz is because the schumann resonance was never measured over 37 hertz until 2017 now, I'll tell you why I believe that is and why we see the Schumann resonance spiking higher and higher every year. These are our geophone hourly strips, and we can see that, well, they're trying to light up like Christmas trees. Each line is an hour cut up into 15 minute time periods. Now, I believe that these geophones are completely covered in snow. And that's why we're not seeing them light up like we used to. From pictures surrounding the modeling station, we can see that there's been heavy snow in the area over the last several weeks. Taking a look at our amplitudes, we can see this all started here right about 9 UTC time. Again, 2 a.m. and it's continuing and ongoing. It's best seen through our ULF and our ELF sensors here and actually our second SR frequency also reacted uh, dipping as it does instead of spiking. Now there is some reaction with our geophones but not what we would expect. Again I believe they're covered in snow in the area. I bet everyone could guess that our modeling station has been under a electrical storm or a thunderstorm for the last nine plus hours and that is our agitator lightning which most often is our Schumann resonance agitator and our agitator for our Earth's electromagnetic field so we're going to zoom in and take a look at the modeling station here this does not look like it's going to be letting up anytime soon. Our modeling station should be right about here. And you can see all the thunderstorms that have passed through the area. If we back up, the entire area has been covered with thunderstorms for the last nine hours, and that will continue. Now, if we take a look at some of the cameras in the area, you can also see, well, it's it's nighttime over there, so it's harder to see, but the entire area is covered with snow. 
So our ag agitator in this case is lightning. And why are the Schumann resonance spikes going so high? Well, let's discuss that. Now, our agitator is lightning here. And what's going on is our atmosphere seems to be depleting and disappearing altogether unless we're being hit with space weather. Which means the agitator here being lightning is actually bouncing off the lowest level of our atmosphere, the D layer, and returning back to the sensors and hitting them with much more velocity and strength because it's not traveling as far. Whereas it used to bounce off the F layer and when it returned to the sensors, obviously, since it traveled so much further, it was less potent, i.e. spiking continues to go higher and higher each year. We've been over 200 hertz on our Schumann resonance as our atmosphere collapses. I believe that's due to the pole flip that started in or around 2017 and is ongoing. I do expect this to get worse. We do see our ENF layers pop up as soon as we see space weather, which we're not really seeing. And I will show you that as well. All right, you'll see that we're not seeing any space weather, nothing plasma-wise over 10 centimeters cubed. And solar winds have actually decreased from 500 down to about 382. Now, this is 9 UTC time, and you can see that the shields go down. They were up occasionally before that, but basically go down into the pink area, except for in a couple of areas here. So our shields are considered down here in pink. And again, this is when everything started right here, as you see. The last part of those shields basically go down. Now, this is data that is missing here. And we have some small periods where the shields look like they went up. But I don't know why we didn't have any space weather whatsoever. And again, ongoingly, our shields are down in pink. So with all that said, our Schumann resonance is spiking off the charts. These higher vibrations and frequencies definitely affect all living animals. The resting state of our Schumann resonance is 7.83 hertz, and we're dealing with spikes well over 100 hertz. I bet we can even match some of these periods where the spikes went down to the few periods where our shields went up. Uh, with that said, I believe mathematically, higher vibration and higher frequency should increase uh, our dimensions, i.e. in M theory, string theory, uh, super string theory, all of the mathematical theories of all say that there's several dimensions and each dimension is separated by higher frequencies and vibrations. Now, I don't believe we're moving in or ascending into a higher dimension based on looking around the globe and looking at all of the wars and all of the crime and the deteriorating humankind. But I do believe that these spikes affect all living creatures, including humans, some more positively than others. I personally am very tired and lethargic and have a hard time getting out of bed uh, and today's been extra hard with nine hours of spiking off the charts here. Please let me know how these human resident spikes affect you, if it's positive or negative, and if so, exactly what they do to you or how you feel when this occurs. God bless you and yours. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in the bizarro world.